to my channel thank you so much for stopping by thank you for clicking on this video okay so guys in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to make an apron and a chef hat for a little girl and here i have the fabric for making the apron so my daughter's karate is on tuesday and i have just a day to make this for her so she can dress the school tomorrow as a chef okay so and i decided to also film this to show you guys how to make it just in case you would want to learn how to make this so make sure you watch to the end of this video and like comment and subscribe okay so guys we'll make the apron first and after that we'll go over to the chef hat here is the fabric for making the apron and what are the measurements i need for the, making the apron you need the you need the full length of the you need the full length of the apron you also need the, the length of the neck band you need the measurement of the chest and also the measurement of where you would want to curl from okay it's just so easy so just stay with me as i place the measurement on the fabric and after that i will cut and then we'll start sewing so when you want to take the measurement of the neck band you are to place the tape on the upper part of the chest then cross over the tape on your neck as though you're wearing the neck band already just Cross it over to the other part of the chest and then place it just to get the accurate measurement and please make sure that you are standing upright when make, taking the measurement so you can get it accurately and then from there you now measure this full length that i have here you're going to measure this particular length from that upper part of the chest where the neck band will stop you're going to measure this full length from there down to wherever you want the length of the apron to stop okay so the full length that i'll be working with here is I'm working with a full length of 16 inches which is here and I'll have one inch for sewing allowance so so for the chest area the measurement that I have is seven inches which is on full three and a half but I'll be adding one inch to that to make it four and a half one inch sewing allowance so I'll mark it here and then I'll measure six inches from here that is I measure this on her body where I would want to cut the apron from so I'll measure it here, six inches. Six inches. So and on this part, on her body, I also measured that the full length the measurement for this particular place on her body is nine inches which is four and a half but i'll be placing one in i'll be adding one inch to that to make it five and a half i don't want the apron to be too big on her i want it to be her perfect fit so she will look smart on it so that's the reason why i measured every single thing on her body so you also try to measure when making yours so you get it accurately i don't like it when apron is so big or bogus on the body so so that means i'll be using this five inches this five and a half inches all the way down five and a half here okay five and a half that's four inches plus sewing allowance of one inch so i measure that all the way down and connect so now i will just make a curve Can you see? It's just so easy. You don't have to do too much. Just curve. Okay. And that's just it. That's just how to make a basic. That's how to cut a basic apron. There is no style attached to this one. If you, you want to add, if you want to curve the end, you can also do that. You can just curve it this way. It is also beautiful. But I want to leave it square like this. So I'll cut this out. So here we have it. So I'll set this aside and cut the bands. Remember that this apron also have a band that she'll be using to tie this at the back. So I'll also cut everything out at once. So the length of the neck band is the, the length of the neck band that I'm working with is 14 inches, which is from here to here, plus one inch sewing allowance because I will attach it to the main apron. So I'll add one inch to that, half inch on both sides, and I'll make the length two inches. Two inches. So. 
two inches on fold. So this I'll be using for the neck band and I'll set this aside now. I'll also be cutting the belt for tying the apron. So I'll be cutting four inches also. One inch is for sewing allowance, why three inches is the actual length. So I'll cut four inches. So I'm done cutting all that I need for the apron and now what I'll do next is to start sewing and the first thing I'll do is to hem all the sides. I'll start by hemming this side. I'll hem it with all the sewing allowance that I left. I'll also hem the lower part, hem the side as well. So I'll just quickly do that and also for the neck band, for the neck band what I'll do is to sew it all the way down like this. I'll sew it and after that I'll turn it out and iron it. To be like this so i'll take it in the machine now sew it and after sewing turn it out and iron it so then we can do that and i'll be right back so this is the belt for the two sides the right and the left so i'll also sew it and then i'll come and show you i finished hemming it all the way around it's just meaning for me to iron it i finished hemming it and i will set it aside now the belt i cut it into two like i showed you earlier and i've also sewed it all the way around so let me show you how i covered up all the rough edges this is for this is the neck band so after taking in the sewing allowance of one inch that i left what i will do next is to fold it like this like this this is the middle of the seam i'll just fold it like this and then sew it this way then turn it out and then close the other one like this just close it to finish up the rough edges so let me quickly do that on the next band and then come and show you so i have sewn it and now i will turn it out to show you so i'll fold it in this way and sew it so I'll, there won't be any rough edge anywhere so let me quickly do that it's time to finish up the apron and what I'll do now is to attach the neck band to the apron like this. I'll attach it this way just with a seam here and a seam at the other side. I can also attach it at this end. Just attach it whichever way I want. Make sure that this side is on the inside and then you attach it this way. I'll also attach the belts. So. I will attach it here, I'll put it inside here and sew. I'll do the same on the other side. So let me quickly do that. So guys, I've attached the neck band and the belt and the apron is ready. All that is remaining is just for me to iron it properly. We don't have light presently. So, but when there is light, I'll iron it and show you the finished look of the apron. So that's just the basic way to make a simple apron. You can attach pockets. I did not attach pockets because she won't even know what a pocket she won't be able to put hand into the pocket you can attach pockets here as you want so in another video i'll show you how to make a stylish apron for adults so i'll set this aside now so we can make the chef hat so guys to make the chef hat what i need is fabric of 16 inches by 16 inches so i have here 17 inches and here also 17 inches okay so we are good so i'll fold this this way fold it into two like this and then fold the second time this way and then fold the second time and then start placing measurements from here not on this edge but on this closed end So I'll place 8 inches all the way around and then cut it out. So I'll place 8 inches here. Eight. So 
So I'll cut this out. So this is what I have, a circle, and I'll come to one end and measure two inches, two, and then I'll cut it. I'll give it a slit, and then I'll send this aside to cut the band. So guys, for the headband, I have this fabric here that is four inches in length. And the head circumference that I'm working with is 19 inches. I'll add 2 inches to that, making 21 inches. So I'll measure 21 inches. 21 inches here. So in allowance. So what I'll do is take this to the machine and sew it with quarter of an inch on both sides, quarter of an inch and quarter of an inch on this other side as well. And for this, I'll be using bias strip to finish this up. Just use bias strip to, to, to close this place, just sew it all the way around. And after that, I'll show you what next to do. So guys, I finished this part with bias. Now it's time to attach the headband and what I'll do first is to gather this all the way around with needle and thread to gather this. So I'll start from here. So I've gathered it to 21 inches and now I will attach it to the headband. What I'll do is place it this way, place the headband this way and then fold the headband in by quarter of an inch at this side and then fix the cap in between and sew. Or you can also choose to sew it one, one by one, you can also choose to sew it this way all the way down and after that we turn it over and sew this other side so let me quickly attach the headband to the cap and i'll show you the finished look so guys i've attached the headband to the chef hat now i'll attach a hook to it using needle and thread so let me quickly do that So guys, I have ironed it and this is how it looks. It's a finished look of the apron. I hope you learned something from this video today. And this is the chef hat. The chef hat, so she'll be wearing this tomorrow. In another video guys, I'll be showing you how to make an adult apron, a stylish one, not this basic one. And for this basic apron, you can also add a pocket if you want. You can decide to add a pocket here, but I don't think it's necessary for this tutorial. So I'll do that in another video. So thank you for watching up till now. Thank you for watching this video to the end. And I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already, okay? Bye. See you in another video.